Yo. Welcome to my latest getaway to Dartmoor. Apologies for the heavy breathing, but I am already on the path. Uh, so I camped near Rotor, it's Rotor there. Beep, beep, beep. And I'm heading for East Rotor, which is there. Beep, beep, beep. Is West Mill Tour up there, which I considered camping at, but to be honest, it's not any kind of walk from the car. I know you want to do a bit of walking. So, yeah, so I'm on the path, just dumped into Rob, Robin from uh, Dartmoor Night Court World Camp, because we ended up chatting for an hour and a half to put out the car because. Uh, seen him for a while so I still have a catch up if you're watching this rub you know um, so yeah so I'm um, on the move and the forecast for today as you can see it's out the sun at the moment uh, it's supposed to be like this for the rest of the day and then rain is moving in in the morning so it might be a wet walk back to the car but it should only be an hour max So I can talk while I walk now because I'm, I'm on the flat, even actually a little bit of a downhill. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's the 11th, it's, uh, Sunday, Sunday the 11th of October 2020 and as previously stated, it's my latest getaway to Dartmoor, so I've um, a parked near Road Hall. I'm walking to East Mill. So, yeah, solo wild camp, just me and Trusty Pack. Uh, so just approaching New Bridge on the path. And I've just got to uh, decide which way I go up to the top of the tour, which is just here behind me. Uh, yeah, so let's um, see what we shall see, and I'll talk in a bit. Peace out.
Hello. So it's about 10 to five. So I've got about hour and a half, two hours of light left. That's where the sun is. I uh, found this spot. Thanks to Rob for suggesting this spot. Um, I didn't know exactly where it was, but from the description, it seems like it. Uh, so from the wind, the wind, if you trust the weather forecast, will be coming from that way in the morning. But to start with, it's going to be virtually non-existent. So I'm happy. It's not going to be a major issue. It's going to be the rain I need to worry about, not the wind. Uh, so some pretty angry looking clouds coming in. It's not really proving my point uh, over there. Um, I don't know if they're going to hit me or not, but just in case, I'm going to get the tent pitched quickly. And uh, I'll report in once that's up and um, show the full view here. It's quite, um, quite nice, a bit of a different view. So I've uh, used one of the features of the MSR Alexa 2 just for the first time, just because uh, I can. Uh, and that is just to put half the outer fly on, which means I get a view from inside the tent. <laughs> um, okay, so show you around the pitch for tonight so i've got this beside me at the moment to shelter me from the wind I've got a little, little area there i need it to shelter me from the rain <laughs> for isn't he uh obviously i've got that thing there too but i'll go to that in a minute uh so this is the view So uh, so Oki Tour is just kind of around there, that's Steeperton up there. Uh, yes Tour is just up over there, you can't see it, and that'd be High Will Haze up there. Uh, but it's still a nice view, nice little view of um, Steeperton Gorge over there. It's quite interesting from here. Uh, but again, it's just so still and quiet here at the moment, I'm not ignorant enough to think that it's going to stay that way but i'm going to make the most of it while i can uh right that's price the um, the msr so what i've done at the moment uh i've got i've just put the outer fly on one end and left the what i call the front <laughs> uh uncovered at the moment so if i want to i can just sit in the tent and admire the view so I'd love it. I knew it was going to be a clear night with no rain at any point. I would leave it like that because it's not like I'm going to have any visitors up here in the middle of the night, maybe apart from sheep. Uh, but so, yeah, that, that will come down later on. I mean, if nothing else, it's going to probably be a chilly night. So I'm going to need the extra layer to sort of keep the warmth in. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to get some, um, some food on. I've got this handy little uh, box here that I can put my um, banner on. I don't know what's in it. I'll have a look. Just to double check it's not flammable, but I'm sure it isn't. And get some food going and uh, have a beer. So tea's on. Um, this box here, obviously this box. Obviously, it used to be some kind of electrical box. The, the electrics have been cut, big thick wire in there that's been cut, so it's obviously not live. And the fact that there's only like a couple of rocks holding it shut makes me think that uh, it's safe. Um, yeah, so say so tea's on, having them um, chops. I say oh, I just decided it doesn't really isn't really any more hassle than bringing those boiling in the bag meals uh, and it's nicer so <laughs> no brainer really um, there's the sun at the moment so uh, yeah it's um, 
probably only about three quarters of an hour away from setting. I don't even know what the time is, to be honest. But once I've once I've cooked and eaten, then it's just a case of uh, I'll probably pop over over there and watch the sunset. Hello YouTube. So you can possibly tell that you know these iPhones are pretty good for making it lighter when it's dark, but it is getting pretty dark. The sun the sun set probably half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Uh I can see the first I'm not sure if it's a star actually in front of me, it might be might be Venus. But anyway, um yeah, it's it's that dark now, I'm starting to see stars. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm currently sat up on the top of the tour, basically, and the tent is kind of down over there below me. Uh, there's no, we don't come camping to have 4G, but there is no 4G down there, so I've had to come up here to contact my wife to let her know I'm okay. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but... It's still pretty nice. There's been some very ominous looking clouds going over. So uh, I actually I pulled the out fly right over now. It's the tent is fully pitched. I just don't want to have the risk of a heavy shower going over whilst I've got the uh, the inner fly exposed. I'm just kind of sat here and I'm just in awe of this view, which obviously can't see on my phone. But that in the center of the screen there pretty much that's mars if i follow this kind of ellipse over here that there is jupiter and saturn in the middle of the screen unfortunately with my phone i just i just can't give any idea of how amazing the view is at the moment i've just seen a shooting star as well um i'll put it up but I'm just not going to see anything on my phone, really. But the view is amazing. I say I'm sat here. There is no sound whatsoever, and that in this day and age, that just doesn't happen. Even at home, there's the sound of uh, this is like fan whirs down the road from an electric box. There's cars going past. There's buses going past. There's dogs barking. You just there's just never a time where there's no sound at work it's exactly the same but here I know I'm looking at those two points of light but just just listen there was literally no sound up here uh, I'm gonna bleat on about it. <laughs> bleat. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go on about it. Uh, I'm gonna switch my phone off, but I felt I had to just um, have this conversation. So I'm gonna switch my phone off, let my eyes get used to the dark, and just enjoy the view of the Milky Way. starting. Uh, my plan was to wake up and do some breakfast before I went, but there's heavy rain coming in at the moment. It isn't raining heavily, it's kind of splitting. So I thought I would just get packed down and get the hell out of here. So yeah, it's just quickly no tracing here really. Uh, that's where I was. Uh, so yeah, nothing left. Uh, let's um, let's march 
much on. We had a chance to talk about last night so yeah last night was was all right sat outside as long as i could uh the sky was so clear you could see the milky way uh yeah went into bed about half past nine i think <laughs> granddad <laughs> uh but I woke up lots of times during the night. Bizarrely, at like four o'clock, when it was on the dock, the wind just changed direction and, and got stronger. It, I could fucking like hear it. It was, it was completely still to that point. And then, uh, yeah, as, as forecast, it changed to kind of like a southwesterly direction. Hello. Uh, probably only about um, <clears throat> 10 minutes from the car. The rain's finally decided to properly join us. Uh, like I say, it's been a good one. So there's West Mill Tour up behind me. East Mill over there. There's road tour up there. camp on these tours you get to know them for uh, probably the last year I couldn't have told you what tour was what They're just lumps of rock on the top of a hill so uh, yeah it's nice uh, camping on East Mill last night that's another one uh, checked off my list as is a logical next one would be West Mill uh, I've never actually camped on High Wheel Haze is um, to the highest uh, so maybe I'll look to do that at some point maybe that has to be next year but yeah it's uh, turned out to be a wet one this morning so just coming up on the car that means it's home time so uh, from this particular getaway to Dartmoor, I would say farewell. <laughs>